It changes you when you really believe that God saved you and then God called you and then God appointed you to a holy calling and then it has nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with him. That is a, that is a, that is a, a world-shaking thought. This has nothing to do with me and it has everything to do with him. So to him be the glory, great things he has done. I'm going to worship him. I'm going to worship him. And I'm going to praise him. Because this doesn't have anything to do with me. He did all the work. Christ did all the work. John chapter 6. These people are following Jesus because he's feeding them with bread. And somebody yells out a question, which is not an uncommon question amongst the ancient Hebrews. Rabbi, what must we do to work the works of God? Because they believed that there was a work that you could do, that if you did that work, then that was most pleasing to God. All right? That's why the rich young ruler came. That's why others would come. That's why one man said, what, what's the greatest commandment? They wanted to ask Rabbi Yeshua because he would tell them the greatest commandment. And they were, they were expecting him to say something about the Sabbath, something about kosher laws, something about the way you je- dress. And Jesus said, you want to know the one work? The one work you have to do. The one work you have to do is believe that I did the work. Your work is simply just to believe that I did the work. That's what brings salvation. That's the message of the gospel. And it's so hard to believe because we live in a world where we have to work so hard. I gotta work so hard for everything I've got. And then God comes along and he saves you and calls you and appoints you and then he tells you it's all about what I've done for you not about what you can do